hey guys, how are you doing? Um, yeah, I'm in my same outfit. I'm not going to lie to you. I didn't even change. I'm just doing another video. Uh, I wanted to go ahead and mention just a couple of skin, not skin, sunscreen products. Yes, sunscreen products. Uh, one that I picked up because of Dr. Dre. She uh, really likes this one tinted sunscreen and I wanted to make mention of it because I did my due diligence to try it out for you guys and I've got uh, one or two or three three other ones that I want to talk about that are my favorites hey this is it now we're in the south at least I am and it's getting hot a lot of sun out there and we got to cover up as much as we can and we got to be protective of our skin as much as we can I like to have a little something something extra uh, on my skin sometimes especially if I'm going out and right now we're gonna start to be socializing a little bit more I got my second shot so you know I'm daring I'm, I'm, I'm dipping my toes into the water now uh, for socializing so I wanted to put on a, a little bit something different uh, not foundation not a heavy foundation because still wearing mask it does rub off so I wanted to make mention of one that uh, Dr. Dre thinks very highly of so I kind of respect her opinion on a lot of things not not everything I mean you have to take it with a grain of salt but this in particular she has uh, talked about this sunscreen uh, quite often she really likes it she you know she keeps on checking out all the ingredients and wearing it and you see her applying it all the time with all of her she does TikTok now and Instagram along with YouTube so you can see her little fingers all going all over the place putting on her uh, sunscreen and this is the CeraVe hydrating mineral sunscreen it's got uh, F SPF 30 and it's the sheer tint I believe it um I'm not sure if it comes in multiple colors, but I know this was like the only one available at uh, my local CVS, and I had to go around town to get this, honestly. Uh, they were all sold out, and I don't know if it's because of the social media aspect of it, of maybe of Dr. Dre just saying whatever, you know, if she talks about a certain product, it gets sold out, but it... It really took me a, a long time to find this. I mean, a number of trials and errors of going to a, a Target. I went to Walgreens. I went to CVS. And, you know, CVS finally had it. So uh, this is suitable for sensitive skin. It's got essential ceramides and niacinamide in it. It blends seamlessly into skin with a lightweight, non-greasy feel. Um... Titanium dioxide 5.5% and zinc oxide 10%. So it's got a good combination. It says apply liberally, of course, 15 minutes before sun exposure. Reapply at least every two hours. Use a water res uh, resistant sunscreen if swimming or sweating. Uh, so this, I'm wearing this today. I'm wearing it right now. I'm looking down on my monitor so I see it. Uh, this is how it looks like. I've got my you know lights on here so hopefully you guys can uh get a really good feel for it in fact i'm gonna dim this one light hang on a second uh there you go a little bit there so um you know it doesn't blow out and i think this side is a little is a little strong too so hang on i'm gonna slow that sucker down a little bit there you go okay so i think you can see it a lot better now I just don't want to blow, you know, blow the lights out so you can see my skin texture and everything. Um, I love the color. The color blends very well. Um, it, it, I do see it. Um, you know, there's no demarcation down my neck or anything, but I do see it in real life that I do have a little something something on. Uh, it's not quite, uh, it's not a deep color, so um, I'm okay with that. I think most uh, fair skin to medium uh, skin tones could wear this. I'm not sure. It it does disappear right into your skin. So I think the deeper tone gals and guys could wear this uh, because I think it just, um, you know, it just disappears as you're, as you're putting it on. Um, I think it just lends itself to a nice, a nice little something extra. 
uh, on your face without being without it being too uh, cast white uh, because of the oxide, the zinc oxide, and all of that in it. Um, I have had no breakouts. I have had no uh, ill effects from it, from wearing it. I have worn it now for a number of weeks uh, out. It does uh, transfer uh, on your mask. So if you are wearing a mask and, uh, you know, especially around the nose area, the bridge area, I do uh, notice that it rubs off, but it's not substantial. It's not going to be like an oily hot mess inside of your mask. If you do wear this, uh, you know, and around my cheek areas, it does stay on. So it, you know, my mask being like this, it doesn't affect this area here. It's just mainly on the bridge of my nose. So I just wanted to let you guys know that in case you are out and about and, you know, want to try this. Okay. The other one that, uh, I want to make mention that I absolutely love is the Neutrogena Hydra Boost. You know I've been talking about this, um, you know, a number of times. It's got SPF 30. Uh, it's not It's not a very high SPF. You know, I, I do gravitate between the 30 and the 50 F SPFs. Uh, you know, just, you know, if, if I know I'm going out on the beach or something, which I haven't been on a beach in like, oh my gosh, a couple of years now. Uh, but if I would, you know, I would have a higher SPF. But for 30, for going around town, 30 is fine for me. You know, I'm in the car mostly. I'm in a building mostly. I'm in the house mostly. So it's not like I'm baking out in the sun, okay? Uh, the Hawaiian Tropic Silk Hydration Weightless Face uh, feels as if it's barely on. That's what they're tagging. Um, it's got a 12 hour moisturizer, UVA, UVB protection. This comes in a really nice travel pump. I really like this. You just, you know, take that off and, uh, let me see if I can put a little on here so you guys can see it. It's a, it's almost like it, it has a slightly vanilla look to it, slightly orangey. If you can pick that up, I think you can. I think my, um, my camera is pretty accurate. I will put this on here and it does, it does go in pretty nicely. There you go. Uh, it just drenches your skin. It's very hydrating. This thing is very hydrating. I love this. I can put this under my makeup too. If I wear makeup, which I haven't been make, wearing makeup in a, in a long, long, long time, but I'm probably going to start back into, you know, getting into that and also reviewing some makeup for you guys. I just with the, with the pandemic and really not going out much, there's really no reason for me to wear makeup. It's just sad, sad, sad life as it is. Uh, and then the last one I have is the Neutrogena. As you can tell, I like Neutrogena a lot. Uh, Neutrogena Healthy Defense Daily Moisturizer. This is the SPF 51. I don't know if you can see that. Try to get that into good focus there. There you go. Okay, there we are. Uh, and this one is by far the smallest one for the price, but again, it's it's a really good one. This one has, um, let's see, oxysalate, 5%, and um, oxybenzone, 6%, and a couple of other things in it that I can't pronounce. But um, this one has the whitest uh, of all the textures. This is like really a thick white consistency. There it is. And uh, this will probably have a cast on it. You know, if you take pictures, this will probably beam back to you. But again, it's very hydrating. It's very moisturizing. All of these are great. This one has a very, uh, I don't think it has. No, this one doesn't have a scent to it. The other one did. And I was mixing one on top of the other. So I'm like, this doesn't have a scent to it. But it does because of the uh, Hawaiian one. The Hawaiian one has a really nice coconut type of smell to it, if you're into that. Um, you know, just just thinking back to the beaches and everything, um, Copper Tone sends me right back. Like if, if, if I open up, I don't even know if they sell it, honestly, because I don't buy it. But um, I think they do. If I open up Copper Tone, uh, you know, the one with the baby with the butt, you know, being pulled down. Uh, if you, if I open that up and smell it, I can close my eyes and go back in time being a young child on the beach because that is what my mother slathered me in 
was the copper tone. I think in those days it was only number four SPF. It was like the number four, and I think they had a number eight. And the number two was, I mean, it was oil. It was absolute oil. You greased yourself up and you sat out on the beach and you fried. My mother did that a lot. She was, I mean, just from head to toe with that oil on her all the time, slathering it. Uh, but she would put like the, the white lotion one on me, which was a number four. But just getting, just getting, not getting off topic, but uh, when I open up the bottles, uh, even to this day, if I would smell on a copper tone, it's just got that, that, that beachy smell. I think it does smell a little bit like that coconut smell. It's just got a, a, it, it really sends me back. It just sends me back. Um, I spent a lot of time on, uh, in Atlantic city on the beach and of course, uh, Florida on the beach and, uh, yeah, just wonderful memories, wonderful memories with family. Anyway, guys, that's all I wanted to tell you. Please be safe out there. Use your uh, sunscreen diligently. Um, you know, don't go out there because the fastest way to age and get premature wrinkles is to be out in the sun and not have your, you know, your sun hat on and uh, sun, sp sun protection and all of that. Um, you know, you just have fun be out on the beach, have fun with your family, uh, you know, do your vacations, whatever, but be safe out there. I love you guys very much. Please subscribe and thumbs up this video if you have a chance. I really do appreciate it. It helps my, uh, you, my little teeny tiny YouTube channel grow. And, uh, I really appreciate each and every one of you. I'm going to get back to doing more videos. Uh, I have been, I know SOL, uh, like, is it SOL or I can't remember. What is that? You know, when you're not available, AO, I can't, I can't even think, I can't think straight. Uh, it's that military term where you're like, you can't be found. It's not Mia. It's another thing. Leave me in the comments below what it is. Cause you know what I'm talking about, right? But uh, yeah, I, I have been absent absent because of all my work and my day life got in the way of my YouTube life. And when they collide, it's not pretty, not pretty at all. But I am back with a vengeance. I'll be putting uh, up some more videos for you guys and uh, hope I can get uh, some more things done. And you know, that's the way it is. I love you guys very much. I will see you in my next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.